Hi, this video is about electrophilic additions, means we are talking about alkenes. Because only alkenes will undergo electrophilic additions. Now, why alkenes undergo electrophilic additions? Because alkene has a double bond, which is electron rich, which attracts electrophile, which is partially positive or positive. All right, so electrophile love electrons, so they will automatically attack anything with double bonds or anything with electron rich. So let's show you the mechanism for electrophilic addition. Let's say I start up with C double bond C with H, H, CH3, CH3. This is built to in. Okay, when this compound actually mix with, for example, HCl. Okay, then what will happen next is first we need to identify the dipole. This double bond is definitely electron rich. And what about the HCl? Do we see any electrophile here? Yes, because H is delta positive, Cl is delta negative. Now, why is it so? Because Cl is highly electronegative, so it will pull electron from the hydrogen, and therefore hydrogen will experience lack of electrons, hence having a partially positive charge. And what will happen next? Since like I mentioned, electrophile love electrons, right? So electrophile will attack anything with electron rich, which is the double bond here. But when we draw the arrow, the curly arrow especially, we always draw from electrons to the positive charge, which is the electrophile. In fact, hydrogen is the one that actually attack the double bonds and grab the electrons out. Okay, so this is the first step. All right, electrophile attacks the double bond and then Moving on to the next step where the double bond breaks, you still have your single bond with it. All right, and the H will go into one of the carbon. Let's say the H attached to this carbon. And what happened to the carbon next to it? Because the double bond is supposed to be sharing between the two carbon here. Now, the shared pair of electrons being used to form bond with the hydrogen. And hence, the carbon here next to it will become a positive charge. And this is what we call a carbocation. All right, and what happened when the H actually get in into the molecule? The bond here break and you left a Cl minus with a lone pair. And because there is a positive charge here, the lone pair attack the positive charge carbon and then you get your final structure as this. H here and Cl here. Now you see that the HCl initially is being added to the butene, forming chlorobutene or 2-chlorobutene. The name for this is 2-chlorobutene. Okay, so this is the detailed mechanisms of electrophilic addition. Now this mechanism is applicable to all alkenes and it depends on what type of electrophile you use. Now types of electrophile like for example you have HCl delta positive, I can have HBr delta positive, I can have Br2 delta positive from one of them and then I can have uh, H2O as well delta positive and delta negative, I can have hydrogen gas all right delta positive. Now all these delta positive can act as an electrophile and follow the same mechanism and then you will get the respective product. So this is electrophilic addition. All right, so let's move on to electrophilic substitutions. Now what is that electrophilic substitution? Same thing, it's all about electrophile that love electrons, but in this case, it's not addition for substitution. Now this mechanism only applicable for arenes or in other words, we call that as benzene. Okay, now benzene, everybody knows I have three, uh, it should have three double bonds in its benzene ring, all right? So because of the double bonds, the pi bonds here, it makes the benzene electron rich and hence it attracts the attentions of the electrophile, all right? Let's say for example, I have Cl, Cl here, delta positive, delta negative. It attracts the attentions of the delta positive chlorine. So the chlorine will actually attack the double bond and try to add in, just like electrophilic addition, just like what happened to alkene. Okay, but the problem is because these three double bonds are delocalized. Okay, so delocalizations, delocalize pi system. These delocalizations of the pi bonds within the benzene ring 
it stabilizes the whole molecule. Okay, because of this increased stability due to delocalized pi system, the delta positive chlorine can't actually attack the double bond like that. It needs a halogen carrier, for example, AlCl3. And what happened when you add a halogen carrier? So what happened is AlCl3 will turn into AlCl4 negative plus Cl positive. Now what happened here is the AlCl3 actually pull the chlorine together with the bonding pair to form AlCl4 minus. That's why we call that as halogen carrier. They carry the halogens. And what happened in turn, the delta positive chlorine will turn into a full positive chlorine. And this is definitely a stronger electrophile compared to a delta positive chlorine. Okay, so once we got the uh, strong electrophile, now they can start attacking the benzene ring. Okay, so they can start attacking the benzene ring. The question here is, let's say I have Cl positive, it's time to attack. But why is it not addition then? Why not just break the double bonds and add in the chlorine? Because like I said, the delocalized pi system actually stabilizes the molecule. So in any chemical reactions involving benzene ring, the benzene will try to maintain the delocalized pi system. It's trying to maintain the double bonds. So instead of addition, it undergoes substitution. Now, how does it work in terms of substitutions? Let's look at the mechanism. All right. So let's start over again. I have a benzene ring with delocalized pi system together with chlorine positive charge. Again, the electrophile will definitely attack the double bond. So curly arrow from electrons to positive. And then next step, you will get this intermediate. Instead of full circle, you get a half circle with a positive charge. Now what's happening here? Because out of the three double bonds, one of it is actually donated here to form a bond with the new chlorine atoms, the positive discharge chlorine here. Okay, so inside you have lack of one pair of electrons. Therefore, it's not a full circle and it has a positive charge because it's losing electrons out. Okay, so this is also known as a carbocation because due to the carbon with a positive charge in it. So this intermediate will not last long. After that, what happened is each chlorine, uh, sorry, each carbon atoms here originally has a hydrogen atoms. Okay. So what happened to the hydrogen atoms? In order to get back the delocalized pi system, it will pull the pair of electrons in and break the H out. So therefore, you will get back your delocalized pi system, but you are sacrificing an hydrogen atoms or hydrogen ion in this case, because they pull the electrons in. So you get back your delocalized pi system, you get substituted with chlorine, and H plus is released in the reaction. Now this whole process we call as electrophilic substitutions. Again, um, is specific. Electrophilic substitutions only with arenes compound or benzene. Electrophilic addition just now, only for alkenes. Okay, so that's all for the two mechanisms.